All right, Mike Shoesmith, uh, welcome back this afternoon. My guest, Mike Shoesmith, the executive director of P.P. Simmons News and Ministry Network. Mike, tell us about marijuana. Well, the, stu the studies are coming out fast and furious here, Carl, with, um, with uh, you know, the discovery that uh, smoking marijuana causes brain damage. Yeah. You know, I first heard that on Fox News, and, and they, they were talking about this study that comes out that uh, smoking marijuana causes uh, brain damage. And then, the, and then the guy says, hey, uh, didn't our president smoke a lot of pot when he was young? <laughs> yeah, we've, yeah, we've had a couple of presidents. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then, you know, there's, there's, there's pictures out there of Obama's <coughs> chum gang. You remember that? Yep. Where they, they, would oh, fill, yeah. they would fill the car with pot smoke and use it as a giant bong. And, <laughs> and, yep. and uh, you know, it was, it, it could, that could answer a lot of questions about why we have the situations that we're in in the world, in fact, with uh, the, the leader of the greatest nation on earth, uh, a, a self-professed pot smoker, but uh, listen, I've I've been doing some research on marijuana over the years. I've never smoked it, by the way. I don't know I don't know how it feels to smoke that or or what kind of um, benefit uh, uh, there is to to smoking it. Uh, but um, there is such a thing as medical cannabis, uh, and that refers to the use of cannabis and its constituent cannabinoids. And that's what I want to get to here is the constituent cannabinoids, uh, because people are benefiting from from breaking it down into its components and using those components um, uh, to to cure uh, all manner of stuff, including uh, you know seizures in children. Right. But even Willie Nelson this week was interviewed about this. Willie Nelson, the biggest pothead ever, the guy who holds the world record for rolling a joint, the fastest. Even he came out this week on Howard Stern and said nobody should ever inhale tobacco uh, smoke of any kind, including marijuana smoke. Well, you know, I was just going to comment on that, Mike. It's like the people back in the early days of cigarette smoking said, well, we didn't know that would hurt you. Well, how could you not know? How could you think that inhaling smoke into your lungs, rolling it around in your lungs, passing it up through your sinuses and through your, you know, through your nasal and throat cavity, how could you think that that would not hurt you? I mean, people are in house fires, and smoke inhalation kills them. How could you think that that wouldn't hurt you? Same thing with marijuana. How could you think inhaling a drug into your lungs, rolling it around inside of your lungs, how do you think, how could anyone dream that that would not hurt them somehow? I mean, that, it's, it's ridiculous. Marijuana smoke has the same, the same effect as, as, uh, has the same effect and chemical component. When you burn it and inhale it, it turns into the same the same structure as tobacco smoke. This is known. There's a, there are thousands of chemicals that are produced when you burn marijuana. Fifty of, now check this out. Fifty of those chemicals are known carcinogens. Right. So the governments are are legalizing recreational use of inhaling cancer causing chemicals, Carl. Right. Right. Okay. All all for the purpose of collecting taxes. Right. I'm, now, sure I'm, gl I'm sure I'm glad they don't do that with alcohol. Anyway. <laughs> now, 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 now before, before, we, before we run out of time here, I want, I want to just uh, use this analogy. Okay. Acetylsalicylic acid was first discovered in willow tree bark. Acetylsalicylic acid. People are, 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 people are given that stuff by their doctors all the time to thin the blood, to help with after a, a heart attack. Right. People take that, and sometimes if you take acetylsalicylic acid after you have a stroke or in the midst of a stroke, it will save your life. Right. Dr. Jim Dobson said that if it wasn't for acetylsalicylic acid, he would have never recovered from his stroke. Right. Well, what is acetylsalicylic acid? Right. It's aspirin. It's aspirin. Right. Now, now it was first discovered in... Willow tree bark. Now, does, have you ever heard of a doctor saying, go eat some willow tree bark? Right. It will thin your blood and keep your heart healthy longer. No, they give you it in a white pill. And people are extracting CBD from marijuana plants and THC from marijuana plants, mostly the CBD part because the CBD portion of it reduces seizure rates in children and people. Right. There, and it's extracted, put into a pill form. And the children are taking the pill and living without seizures. Right. You know, because science allows us to do that. You don't right. have to inhale. Now, let's get honest here, folks. You just want to get high. That's well, all you want to do for. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Except for President Bill Clinton. He didn't <laughs> inhale. He didn't so. inhale, though. No. Yeah, right. Well, listen, uh, listen uh, I mean, that's my take on it. That is how silly uh, smoking marijuana is. It's, it's, it's akin to 
going and hacking off a chunk of a willow tree bark and eating that instead of taking aspirin. That is yeah. how stupid this is. Stop inhaling even Willie Nelson. He's yeah. like the king of pot smoking. He says, stop doing that to your lungs. It's hurting you. Right. Well, actually, it's akin to chopping off the willow tree bark and rolling it up in the paper and smoking it. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, we're out of time. Tell folks where they can find you. Ten seconds. P.P. Simmons at Live.com. You can reach me for more. P.P. Simmons everywhere. There's an internet connection. I love you guys. We'll talk to you hopefully next week.